All right, folks. You're live. Got uh, Atomic Heart on the menu tonight. I didn't actually not see this game coming. Saw some of the hype a little couple months ago. Didn't actually see that it was coming out today, of all days. Random uh, Sunday, Monday, in the middle of February. No one really expects a game release in that time, right? So, honestly, yeah, I was a little surprised when I popped up on Steam, and sure enough, it's here. And, uh, been kind of curious about this one. Heard a lot of hype, heard a lot of, you know, rumors, delays. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Lots of, lots of back and forth, so... Right now we're doing a little bit of our promo bits, uh, cycling around the discords, pushing my product everywhere that will hear me, and uh, hopefully getting some good stuff out to you guys today. We are going to have to do a small bit of settings. We got our shaders built already, so that'll save us uh, a little bit of time here. Probably with it being a likely Unreal Engine or something like that, they had to sit there and bake those shaders just a little bit more. So, dive in, shall we? We got a 1440, we're gonna drop that FPS down. This monitor only does 120, so we don't need anything to impress anybody with. Uh, quality Atomic, oof. That's gonna be a big deal. Let's see, we got DS DLSS. On 40XX. I'm looking to see if we have DLSS options in general. There we go. Let's get some, uh, Get balanced ticked on here. And uh, we're going to not mess with reflex necessarily. Hopefully this doesn't require a restart. Getting some pretty, stained, pretty, pretty steady frames. I'm not going to how to talk today. Um, let's see. Subtitles, speech. Alright, let's see what we have going before we uh, cut this down too much. Oh my god, I love it. So, this is actually pretty close to uh, old school, like, Soviet cartoons and a lot of things from that era. Like, 50s cartoons in general had kind of this flat animation style with, like, high contrast, dark shadows, things like that. Um, so I definitely can already see them creating a theme that hopefully they will uh, stick to and own. Hmm. Let's uh let's stick with medium. Let's not let's not brutalize ourselves too much right out the gate here. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Frame <laughs> rate's going steady on my end. Let's see. Just do some old getting you guys the best quality we can here. Oh, video. We have some skip frames here. We're going to go ahead and clock this down to 60. Yep. Lemay City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. For those out there watching, just let me know if it's uh, the other giving you any issues. Live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? 
How do I take it? I'll be polite. Game volume down a slight bit too. Just gently change music for streamer mode. Oh no. You know what? We'll just keep what we got. If I get any like copyright claims, I'll fix it at that point. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Oh gosh. The robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. So I only read a little bit of Russian, wow, um, day. and not all of these. Oh, let's see, Dabashnia Square, or no, it's Street, Ulitsa Street. What's up with your Volvash bots on track? Oh, I can't look. Hey, breaking my neck here. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bolt. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Right, now, now I'm just getting more curious. Can you set this whole damn game to Russian? Ukrainian, uh, I think Chinese, Korean. I don't know. I my outside of like Korean, I really can't recognize all languages. Let's see. Please. Oh my gosh. Let's see what happens. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. I don't know. The languages are. Languages is still in, uh, whatever. Like, spoken language is still in English. That's a shame. Yeah, there is no way to set it. Oh, well. Thank you, sweetie. We have Metro 2033 for when we want to just brutalize ourselves with us, uh, Relic. Oh, my God. Okay, then. Get to the Looking Glass Studios 0451. Thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, the 0451 is like the classic uh, open world exploration code. I think it goes all the way back to Thief or... Good morning, my yeah, boy. Yeah, original Thief. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. They have like little chicken walkers up there. I myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab. Hey, Zinya. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Yeah, I'm running with the alerts on low today because I don't exactly want to get uh, snatched out of what is a pretty damn fantastic world right now. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. residents and facilities. Oh, so it will translate everything. By the director but not everything, everything. 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Hmm. Too harsh. Hmm. That's funny. Just reeks of 1950s. The movement speed feels a little weird, though. Is there a FOV change something? Still motion blur.
Cut down that camera shake maybe a little bit. The pace of technological progress is breathtaking. Get your thoughts no today. Get connected straight away. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. Oh, Jesus, it's Not Elon Musk. Browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I polymerized? Sure Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. The pace of technological That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, it's like I'm wearing like an as a evil James Bond man outfit. But it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. You know what? Fine. All right then. Turn my Neuralink on, Elon. What, do I not get to pick my own color? Hmm. Um. That's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I reposted one of those things on Facebook, so now uh Thanks. I'm all set. Now my data's all protected. Yeah. Those chain messages saved me again. You've got to be kidding me. Hit. This guy doesn't get down with a brain chip. Grab some tea. The TV show's done. You've got cookies. Hey, honey, don't shove. Really Don't just stand there, comrade. You want to watch the speech too, right? This little analog TV has like OLED screen. Look how well you can see that in the daylight. I'm just passing through. Weather is just perfect for the celebrations. You can't beat Or what is up with your eyebrows? Oh. We'll use pet chat. Oh, that's just the name of it. Hey, I said it right, though. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Hmm. All right, sure. Let's uh, figure this out. So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. All right. What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Not, Legacy not the way you look. Models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. Great, new stand GPT, fantastic. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. That sounds very discriminatory of you, sir. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. 
Mm, very suspicious, comrade. All right, let's go. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Well, Monday's no brainer. It's tomorrow I'm worried about. I need to do the laundry. I should check the weather forecast. This is like also peak Europe. Mm. Man, there are a lot of these guys selling. Oh my god, didn't I just see you 20 hundred, like 200 meters ago? You can become part of collective. No, I'm good, man. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut, so keep still. Say cheese. Photobomb that shit. God, the robots are like impeccably well done, though. Holy shit. The, well, non creepy ass human looking ones. And the weather is just perfect for the celebrations. You can't beat I swear to God, that's an NPC uh, from Oblivion as a voice actor there. Be back in 15 minutes. Wait, what? And I feel sorry for the German civilians. What happened? It's good, they're allies now. Just look at Stockhausen. He's a model employee. Yeah, Mikhail is a real Soviet citizen. I owe him a bottle of the Just the scale of this is freaking amazing though. Oh, that's going to be some kind of terrifying monster later. You know what? I wonder if they could make a robot doll like a real one, except you don't need to take it to a vet and it won't get old. You know what? That's actually a great idea. Yeah, and I'd call her Lassie. If anyone ever fell down a well, I'd be the first to know about it. Oh my gosh. Help. Holy cannoli, Russians love ice cream just like us. So, damn, man, you're going to get diabetes like this. Speaking of diabetes, hearing someone who's, like, supposedly Russian speaking with, like, that southern country accent, like, fucks with my head in a way I cannot describe. Review all the theses personally. without syrup oh it's lemon water and like plain water without syrup oh interesting yeah I'm like slowly relearning myself uh, some Russian here very very slowly I don't know who I'm trying to call but sure let's go Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Oh my god. We ain't letting him out. Oh, then is your refrigerator running? Yeah, and it's coming to get you, kid. Ah, oh, crap. Please, enough with the prank calls, comrade major. Jeez Louise. I got an achievement for that. Amber Jamba, Kitty Pampa. Why is he not falling over? Hey, boss! <laughs> 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 
Chalamet City, your section off's address will begin in This is uh, definitely some like Soviet era kind of building shit right here. Just like the absolute grandeur of it. I think he's holding the wheat there, which is definitely like the motif along with that sickle. Yeah, industry, farmers. Hell is this one? Hmm. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Always got to have your Mark statue. Marks and Lenin everywhere. Whoa. Look, that robot is known as a Belyash. <laughs> like a fried dildo? But why? It's a planet planet robot. robot. So the solar system if you ask silly questions, it'll fry your fanny. How rude. <laughs> Plus, robots can't fry anybody. We it's against their programming the to harm a human star. being. Yeah, I know that. We are taking our first steps on this historic journey. Step right up, comrades. Take a look at this visualized model of the universe. A place we can Budusheko Laboratory. I don't know what Budusheko means, or if that's a name. Like, the auto translate feature does not seem to be like 100%. Unless, like, I get right up on top of things and they happen to have written a translation. Slow down, son. Slow down. Opening of the Polymerov. Oh, discovery. Interesting. This is the same word as opening. What crit? I'm interesting what they're talking about with polymers here. So some of these people are actually like real deal sciences, like freaking, like I think want to say, hmm. I don't know if they're referring to, like, the Pavlov. Hmm. So, yeah, some of the translation choices are interesting. Like, all of the world kind of thing, or the rest of the world. They say USSR and beyond. Hmm. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Polymer base, hydrogen sale. Hmm. Brown plague. Like Grey Death from uh, Deus Ex. I say this definitely adds up with the uh, Soviet era naming conventions because they just like what it is number collective 1.0 first global network interesting who did the internet like 40 years early yeah, you're a Gagarin, that tracks. 
All right, so is there a part two or? Oh, also, if you've ever been to like Ukraine or anything before the war, like they have these Soviet era monuments, like things like this all the time. They have lots of just incredible like carvings and all sorts of things that they'll make. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Well, so even down to the ID Major, cards, those are accurate. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years okay. studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, I'd be pretty down yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, been there, done that. Skip the four, Playbot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. What do we have here? Wait, does this glove thing inject this into my hand? What, what's what's about to happen here? And it's probably pretty expensive, man. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes. Polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Okay, so point at it. Shit, Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing Only... objects. This ability could Only prove some of very them. useful in the future, but for now, hmm. please continue with your mission. It's an interesting effect, but it's like, what exactly is it telling me? Oh my god, the derpy little robot. That's so adorable. You go, little robot. You go. You're working on over here. I was typing out a novel over here. Hmm. There's definitely like a lot of love and attention put into this kind of stuff. Kind of explains why it took a while. Hmm. Can I leap now? 
address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenoff, is about to begin. God, this is just so wild looking. So I don't know all of the old like Soviet flags or anything. Um, some of these, well, we're in like a crazy old history, so I don't know who, who all we have. I want to say one of these is Hungary, Kazakhstan. Control machines with their thoughts alone. Adrix is one of these, I thought. Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, yeah. I present to big you Soviet vibes. So to see you're taking it easy, the neural Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Human beings been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. My god, this is just such a beautiful, like, scenery. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. It reminds me vaguely of, like, the Palace of Parliament in Romania. Just, like, the raw scale. So does that have handrails? You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Wanna learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. Is this my uh, your brain and your personal thought device? Andrew Ryan or whatever his name is from Bioshock? Because this is where I'm getting my premise set up so that way it can all come crashing down brilliantly. Where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. Yeah, it definitely feels like the uh, foreboding introduction. You'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Yeah, the uh, thirst trap gamers will definitely be raising hell over these two, I'm sure. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Can't, uh... You just have, like, a random plane just embedded up here. Can I get... Get anywhere? No? Okay, cool. Hmm. Came all the way up this place. 
Is that through my foreshadowing Sex session? Here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Mm -hmm. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. All right, so it definitely seems that if I tab out, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. God, the scale of this thing. I can understand why this thing required some delays. If this is truly the scale that they're going to keep as they go. Hmm. Especially like the optimization that you would have had to have done to make this kind of open scale like not have issues. <laughs> Suck it, Elon. Don't need a key for this one either. And we have power windows. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling really? of collective... We, we get in the car just to get picked up by a drone? We get it. The American government is expressing I mean, I'm down with it, though. concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. whole shipment of Soviet robots, and I'm sure someone's still bitching about how no one wants to work. This is... You can actually see the planes through the glass. Wow. I see you find oh my excited. god, it's literally Less Sky Rapture from Infinite. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Holy shit. Hmm. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, this guy's a to not, uh... Facility yeah, hopefully he has some character new. development. As we used to ride these vehicles to our very first science shapes a bit. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. Oh my god. Time some genius like you forgot to put up a Oh, that's some Soviet scale right there. One direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. God, the air traffic control here must be hell. going IFR in our sky jalopy here. Um. So where are we going? This is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Holy Outside shit. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. Oh my god. Just the amount of this world building. And I literally haven't even played the game, so you to speak, can now yet. observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to a hundred orders per hour. So, Factorio drones. Nice. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. So we are Let's get this out the sun. flying over sunflower solar farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Damn. This is effectively the uh, best art <laughs> exhibit I've ever been on, or art tour. Facility 30 uh, that I've ever had in a video game. This is like fucking so impressive. Specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. God damn. Major, the drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Uh, we're about to come to a stop, all right. You have reached. 
Major, I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots um. have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Oh, fuck, man. Bitch. Oh no, don't lose the Tereshkova. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? No, not Tereshkova. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is gonna go well. Alright. Fifty minute title card. Killing me. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Hmm. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor. Who? Oh God! What is that? Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the Hub. <coughs> Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. See if we got anything back here we can get our hands on. It's just like a big here. Leave this dude in half. Do not 
interact with the robot again. Do not panic. Hmm. Holy shit! What the hey, hell? Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. All right, big one. Help me! I'm gonna die! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Spooked you. Shit! Uh, get away from me! I mean, it's not really a swirly if it's an outhouse, right? Oh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! Hey, it's Babishka. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could very animated. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. Jesus what Christ. Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Oh, no, not Granny Zeno. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. What in the absolute fuck is this game? Holy shit! Very long elevator ride. Hmm. Yeah, I don't fucking blame you, bud. What a goddamn clusterfuck. We got a crafting system, or at least some meds. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? 
Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Academy right. Consequences. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, <sighs> who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Hmm. Little pocket watches or our audio logs. Interesting. Very on brand. Just turn the handle and open the door. Working on it, bud. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's squishy. Well then, that's one way to get a shotgun. Oh shit, this is a KS-23. It's the, uh, like, 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter shotgun. That's 23 millimeter? It's a giant ass shotgun. Break rooms or the games. Oh, okay. Ah, we can scan for this. Like, I wonder if these are actual cartoons or if these were also created for the game, because that's just damned impressive. I could just fall into the world building here so easily. I will have to do like some kind of world examination as a separate kind of video. Um, Fading data. Damn, that's cool. All right. And the machines rose. Power attacks. Yes. All right, so we got some peak dodge mechanics. Give you some advice. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're Ooh, all yep. powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during the power surge are especially dangerous. And all right, uh, I'm trying to dodge. Shingo, why didn't you tell me that before? Got him. Man, normal, uh, normal still gets your ass beat. Damn guys, what the hell happened in here? Hurt to collect. Hmm. Other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. What else do we got? 
do like that you can vacuum stuff up and you're not individually just spam firing your F key to just get by. And they make it look good too. Stockhausen. Hmm. That's an idea. in the germination workshop. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Oh, there's just straight up all people's personnel files here. Damn, just like... Oh my god, there's a social credit score. Jesus. Hmm. Am I in like the KGB offices right now? These are definitely real people's portraits too. I almost wonder if they're from like the game devs or stock photos or what. Vasilyevich. Hmm. You've been bad. You have only a 4.7 here. Jesus, how many of these people are there? Some of these definitely feel like sock photos. There's definitely probably some Easter eggs hidden in there too. But that's for a different time. <laughs> you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and then... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. <clears throat> really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later, and somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Yeah, see, not all of, uh... Because, like, this isn't translated. This right here, our duty, all this stuff, that's what is actually translated. Minister, yeah. Or administrates you. All right. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Will we do that? Right through his tailbone. Okay. We'll see. Do that while I'm not getting punched. Let's 
vacuum up all the parts. Social control, man. Fucking do some stuff with these parts, because there sure are a lot of them. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Well, this is definitely the Sisha is the USA. Hmm. Okay, we still have a lot more facility to explore here. Day the summer. Oh, that's all. It's purchase server. Hey, glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The trader wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Still the same lock picking mechanic as uh, old uh, Oblivion, or not Oblivion, Skyrim. A slightly different skin. Could be on the fridge here. Hmm. Low rest magnets. Oh, hey, bud. Telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They mm. can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. time.
Yeah, I have a feeling hard's pretty damn. Now how do we love? We're getting some frame lag. Pretty bad frame lag all of a sudden. Hmm. Cab and cartridge. There we go. Hour in a toilet in one. All right. Sick. My dear, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is a lot. Are gonna one. fight or? Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. Damn. We're going to get out of this nightmare. You're all else. You mind sharing that one with me one more time? How do we probably go about getting those audio locks open again? What is Z and U? Exploration games don't go the way you're supposed to. Archive. Hi. Hey, what do we got? Embryology, anatomy. Go botanics. Systems, ecological. I knew all along, as soon as we unite people into a single collective, they will understand. How? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. I mean... Gotta say, it looks like it was working out pretty well so far. Don't see anything else to vacuum up. Get to sucking. I can one hand it while using my glove. That's pretty cool. Interesting how they have the animations for both. Pay attention to detail. Okay, looks like we're good. Seem to know how to actually build that. Hmm. 
Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes... Something's wrong. Oh, shit! What the absolute fuck is this? And then he died. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! What the hell? Oh. No. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Uh... shaft Larissa crawled into go it's hard to say the ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts fine I can deal with it later there we go break him down come here bud what's that freaky thing on the door a lock are you serious then open it already come on we're in a hurry I'm unable to assist you I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try it snapping works. your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Going on. No need to fight back, sugar. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Oh my god. dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything from my master? What can I do for you? What the hell is going on?
More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Eleonora. Uh, so we got 34 neuropolymer. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Oh gosh, it's like Bioshock it comes with the little cartoons. I'm sorry, I, I have to watch this whole thing. Oh my god, this peak communism shit going on here. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Jesus. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A mess. I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Okay. Whew. That is one thirsty-ass uh, crafting system. I'm almost kind of sad I asked. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it is a KS-23. Nice. Increases damage, reduces recoil. What does it cost, though? Unlocks a cartridge slot. Sources. Where does it tell me the cost? Ah, uh, okay, so it's telling me what limit what limits it. There we go. Get a muscle break done. Increase rate of fire, increase accuracy. Let's see what else we got for the suite here. When landing can't be knocked down.
Max damage when attacking. Increases energy bonus. Hmm. We definitely have enough capsules. I wasn't done, miss. Oh. So here we can actually fire cartridge shells. I feel like I'm going to be using this hammer a bit more. Doing good. Hmm, now I'm starting to see where some of this stuff comes into play. Speed of us will pick up a little bit here. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They have no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Hmm, interesting. They're down here somewhere still? Uh, supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. Ah, uh, now we go upstairs. Hmm, got two baddies. And put a camera. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Hmm. They blip by using shock. All right, we'll neutralize this robot and then we'll come back around. I could have saved my shells. Okay, well, that didn't work the way it was supposed to. There we go. Thought I wasn't supposed to be able to get knocked down. Alrighty. Back on the road again. Any parts from that dandelion? No. All right, so blue are loot containers. Any plays in here? Le vacuum. Found the key. 
We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Damn Charles. Right. Smart move. All right, we're gonna get this thing with the old Zapparuni. Try one more time. Oh, it's a uh, cooldown. Okay, we'll come back around. Oh, I'm gonna get it back in there. Our cooldown's up. I don't really know if I like that spin attack. Got some parts. So need to get some more parts. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Go. Nice little audio log. They say Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the. Really, cut that off? I didn't like that. Hmm. Man, they're getting rid of tobacco, huh? The plant? The plant grabs somebody? Oh, man. I thought it was just the bots I had to deal with. On Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Hmm. There's a floor above me. How do I get there? Another message. What's with the vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOVA sixes follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah. Even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. Uh -huh. Apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out of this. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Yeah, it just feels like they made the character look as sarcastic as possible.
Oh, okay. So I need a blue. Hmm, I can see what's up now. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Working on it. Wait, what do these top ones even do then? Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Hmm. Interesting. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. No, I mean, I'm gonna take the one that's wired into the actual relay. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Yeah, they, they definitely have made this uh, guy not very likable. Top again. Now with a uh, slightly more destroyed floor. If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me. Please continue. Oh, cool! Another button. Watch. Oh, we might as well go ahead and uh, collect all the stuff here. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! <laughs> Hmm. You can fully scan the enemies. Interesting. Put and heal up real quick. They can dodge it. Oh, that's that's cheating. One down. Next victim. Hmm. 
Hmm. No way to decrypt any text or data. Well, if there's no way to decrypt it, how do they know they're mentioned? Victor, honey, I miss you so much. Sweetie, you're here? I'm so happy, but how did you manage to get inside? I took someone else's papers and pretended to be one of the doctors. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I'm here now, sweetheart. And I brought the equipment you asked for. I know that voice. Where have I heard it before? I'm sorry I dragged you into all this, sweetheart, but Sechenov's gone too far. I talked to Stockhausen. He's my friend, after all. I, I thought he'd help me stop this madness, but this sneaky son of a bitch played me. So Sechenov threw me in here. It doesn't matter anymore. I'll get you out of here. Tell me what to do. You'll have to cause... A tiny malfunctioning collective. Don't worry. It's just a couple of software glitches. I've got like-minded colleagues waiting for my signal in other complexes. We're going to sabotage the facilities all at once. Then mm. the world will finally see what the Kremlin dictatorship is up to. Then what? Sechenov will never stop looking for us. We'll flee the country. Defect to the U.S. and live in luxury for the rest of our lives. Once we expose Sechenov, he'll no longer have the means to harm us. But first, I need to access the network. Okay, I'll connect your equipment to the main server. And then? Hmm, interesting. Curious what kind of censorship filter is running here. Fading data. Please select the desired procedure. Oh, thank God. The other one isn't. A, this one isn't as thirsty as Nora. See what we get out of it. Hmm, that's pretty good. Thank you. And 
there's more stuff that I missed over here. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Babilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Yeah, no. Swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. What was I hearing in there? How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. Go ahead and get this one. Fading data. All right, off we go. There's the control panel, and of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one, a combination lock. Ah, uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. The schematic. Need to find the schematic. Uh, what was that? A glorious new hmm. of Soviet urban development. This is Icarus. Station, we must go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's hmm. part of the Like the system shock, too. Like corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, nope, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Hmm. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. You'll be free to make it over the shore one day. as fast as the next time. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. <laughs> Did the station master die in this tunnel? This guy handles everything with such grace. Right in front of my eyes, you need the schematic, which will soar above us all in just ten years' time. 
Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. Station master. Find All right. Yeah. Yeah. Find him. Get the schematic. Holy fuck! A talking corpse. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, we just gotta do the Zapparino. There it is. We just need to make it to the cable cards for sale. All right, so we start on the top left and then do a rotation. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, hmm. yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. Make sure we're not missing anything up here. We are ready to depart. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Got anywhere with that? Fuck! I knew it was gonna be rough. Shit! You again? Careful! There's a gap up ahead. I see it. I'm like pinned in here, man. Got corner beat down. Please not get my ass beat. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. There we go. Shotgun. Much better. Mui. Oh, no. Alright. Back to work here. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some civvy wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. All right, boss, so uh, how do we do it? Are we about to do some Mirror's Edge shit? We're about to do some Mirror's Edge shit, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're doing Mirror's Edge today. <laughs> Jump better? There we go. We're doing Mirror's Edge.
got quick reflexes, Major. Okay. Wouldn't survive without him. Uh, don't like this. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. The robs can drill through even the hardest. How am I supposed to be <laughs> able to figure out what that thing's doing? No, Shit. no. You again. Ah. Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring do out the how to climb the wall. Again. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. You can tell us Mick Gordon doing the soundtrack because of the dynamic uh, sounds and stuff here. Was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. Yeah. Hmm. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed, it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Oh god. I mean, use that one. Oh well. Alright, buddy. There we go. Shotgun restocked here. All right. Now we're getting through that, huh? Going to the Boros hole? Yeah. The irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Boros, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, as you know. I was a Borov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what, like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Hmm. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and then one will have a complete subway system or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon they were going to use them for. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tag's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge science. You worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. There used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be. And it's all thanks to my Borogs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. The machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend into confusion. Hmm.
Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Yeah, chest over there. Stop. What a nice trip. Get these bonus materials. <laughs> All right. Magnetic barrel. Fading data. All right. Well, this has been a, a good about two hours or so as the first little bits of Atomic Heart. I had to get some performance issues nailed down, but other than that, this has been pretty fantastic. Not too many optimization issues for a game that's freshly out, so I'm uh, pretty impressed. Um, if you're watching this on the VOD, uh, go ahead and give me a follow, and you'll definitely catch me on the next time when I stream a little bit more of this. I'm definitely going to do a little bit more uh, later. I think for now I'm going to cut the stream and maybe grab a bit to eat and then uh, we'll be back a little bit later probably do some rogue tech or maybe even mech warrior campaign started so uh appreciate it thanks for tuning in